universe. And you are God. I am God. Greetings. Welcome to episode 38. This is container 12, part 1. And I really don't know what to expect in here. It is heavy at one end, which can either mean more manuals or loose games. So let's dive in and see what the hell is in container 12. Some paperwork. A thank you note all in German. Copies of my submission to the Guinness World Records. Which was sent on November 15th, 2008. I completed all the paperwork and the description of record attempt was the world's largest collection of Sega Game Gear. November 18th, 2008. So not yet 14 years later, and I have never received any correspondence from them of any type, even a postcard saying we got your submission. But I filled it all out, and I paid the nominal fee, and never heard anything back. So, once I finish doing all my videos of my entire collection, I may resubmit that for review to see if I could possibly qualify as having not the best, but the biggest collection of Sega Game Gear. That can go. Old label. Let's see. Four Sega Game Gear games and carry case. This is from July 3rd, 2006. So four games in a carry case total from Great Britain was $5.98 British pounds. But it doesn't say specifically what games they were. Here is some paperwork in Japanese. Some newspaper in Japanese. I must have been really fascinated by getting the uh, insert paper that they use to provide cushion for an auction, you know, items that they're shipping. And I must have been really impressed because then I also have German. Looks like Dutch from 2005 newspaper that I thought was so cool. So I flattened it all out and uh, saved it. I don't know why. I probably thought it was really rad when I did it. But now I can see some games. So let's get into it. Have not shown this game yet. It's in okay shape. This is Wolf Child. A European release. It's an action game, one player only. Looks like a side scroller based on the pictures on the back of the box. What else we got? What else is in here? A bit beat up copy of FIFA Soccer 96. That was sold for $29.99. I think that's British pounds. And since I can see it right away, I might as well show you the second copy of FIFA International Soccer. I take that back. This is FIFA Soccer 96. This is just FIFA International Soccer. Import game. 
which is in really good shape. 1994, one player only, and is classified as a sports game. All the playability of the original 52 international teams, over 800 individual players, exhibition, tournament, league, and playoff modes. Decide strategy, formation, and team coverage. So it sounds like it's got a lot in there when it comes to playing soccer. Never played the game. We have Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. A European release, one player only, action game. A dragon's curse can be hazardous to your humanity. Join Wonder Boy on his quest to end his curse and regain his human form. We have seen this game in prior videos. That would be George Foreman's KO Boxing. I believe also known as Heavyweight Champ. George Foreman, the people's champion for the most realistic boxing action ever. Take on a roster of heavyweight contenders as you go for the world championship. Rock your opponents with stinging left-right combos and pound your way to the title with a spectacular Big George Super Punch. For the ultimate slugfest, go head-to-head -head with a friend using your gear-to-gear -gear cable. There's the bell. Get ready for the fight of your life. So a game where you could actually use the gear-to-gear uh, -gear cable to play with someone else. Kind of a cool feature. We have Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with a save one dollar now sticker on it this is got the original seal on it but it looks like it has been split enough that someone opened the box to pull out the game and play it sonic 2 and it's got the r zone sticker on the back meaning it came from the now forgotten now defunct toys r us Unless you live in Canada. I believe I read that they still have Toys R Us in Canada. And there's talks about putting Toys R Us areas or sections in dep a department store. Maybe Macy's. Maybe. But like an attempt to bring it back on a smaller scale. And I just don't see how that would be exciting. Toys R Us was great because you could go in and it was just massive and... They had toys for all ages, all genders, and it was just fun to meander about and uh, end up buying things that you didn't need. But uh, I miss it. I grew up going to Toys R Us and uh, lusting after toys that I could not afford because gr I grew up poor. So I would do a lot of window shopping while I was there. We have Halley Wars, sealed, never opened, from Krypton Elect. Marked $14.99. A lot of glare on there from the lights. Earth Shattering Invasion is the title on the back. This is a European game. F1 Formula One by Domark. Champions of Sport, an official product of the FIA Formula One World Championship. That's the standard game. There was uh, F1 World Championship Edition, which is was released later and is, I guess, a grail for a collection. It took me a while to hunt down that game when I was in hunting mode. Stalking and hunting mode for games, systems, accessories, bootlegs, all that. Uh, I believe this is Tesseray. Yes. Small squares of colored stone or glass inlaid to form a mosaic. A tantalizing color puzzle game for Sega Game Gear. 
never played this game, but I, this is by Game Tech. I think I might have that sealed somewhere. My brain, which has faults, seems to recall obtaining that game sealed. Speaking of sealed, we have Putt and Putter Miniature Golf sealed, again from Krypton Elect, for $14.99. It's crazy clubs time. Putt and Putter. They also made this um, in, for a Japan version, which I've shown, and I think Container 9 was all Japanese, if memory serves me correctly. We showed a sealed copy of this in the last container, which is Taz in Escape from Mars. This copy is not sealed, but it is complete in box. And it is a one player only game. So, no sharing with friends. We have the US release of Solitaire Poker. The hardest part? is quitting pick a card any card then pick one of five columns to drop it into build a royal flush in one row and a regular flush in another stock four of a kind vertically and make a pair diagonally with five rows five columns and two diagonals the possibilities are endless but it's going to take deep thinking and plenty of advanced playing try to build as many point scoring hands as you can the farther you go, the more points you need to advance to the next level. The possibilities of poker and the complexity of solitaire. Seven musical backgrounds to choose from. Fifteen rounds of play with increasing levels of difficulty. Two-player option for head-to-head -head competition requires gear-to-gear -gear cable, and it says sold separately. I did not know that that was a one- or two-player game. So get out your gear to gear cable, find someone who has a functional game gear, if you also have a functional game gear, and the capacitors haven't died and leaked out on you, then you can play that game with them. We've seen this before, but this is in much better condition than the one I already showed you. This is Robocop versus The Terminator. In the crumbling ruins of a world under siege, man-machine meets man-machine-man man as legendary cyborgs clash to decide the fate of the Earth. That's a pretty heavy mission. The fate of the Earth. Based on the Frank Miller, Walter Simonson, million-selling Dark Horse comic series. We've seen this one before, and this box is in super good shape, which is nice to see. The Lucky Dime Caper starring Donald Duck. Donald's on the move and off to the rescue. I had another two, one or two copies of this prior, which were not in the best of boxes, but this one is in really good shape which is reassuring because now I don't have to hunt for a mint copy. And from that, we go to a bit of a beat up box of Echo, the Tides of Time. And it has a sales sticker on it for $23 complete in the box. Echo, the Tides of Time. 17 levels of spectacular adventure, including five astounding 3D travel scenes. Fancy. One player. Haven't shown this one yet. By Interplay, we have five in one fun pack. You can play backgammon, checkers, chess, reversi, or yacht. A licensed, sanctioned game, multi-game cartridge, unlike the bootlegs, which have multi-games and were not authorized by Sega. That one and Arcade Classics, 
jumps to mind as having a, being a cartridge with more than just a primary game on it. We fold in the bottom of the box on this. This guy, this is Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. Dr. Robotnik's lab has exploded, scattering five Chaos Emeralds across the planet. Sonic and Tails spin dash to rescue them. Tricky Knuckles streaks right behind with the sticky-fingered Knack the Weasel joining the hunt. It's a triple whammy race to see who will get the Emeralds first. Another Sonic the Hedgehog game. This is a one-player. Three times the action and triple the trouble. Loop, blast, and super spin dash through six zones, five bonus rounds, and a wild 3D stage. Ooh, sold. I'll take it. We have the Majors Pro Baseball. That's a pretty common game. That seemed to always be posted up for sale, complete in the box. You can use the gear to gear cable on this, so it's one and two players, one or two players. We have a tattered copy of Chicago Syndicate. I had shown this one before. I'm not sure if it was just complete in box or sealed, but I know that I showed you Chicago Syndicate. Try to get a little bit of the glare off there so you can see the picture of the box. Of course, it'll be over here as well, the picture of the box, so it's clear. For when my camera decides not to focus, you can still see a clear image of the game. We have Sonic the Hedgehog. That's all for Sega Game Gear, complete in box. It's Super Sonic, he's here. It's Sonic the Hedgehog on Game Gear, and he's busting the speed barrier wide open. So the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Digging, digging, digging. We have Poker Paul Solitaire in the last, I believe, Container 11 Part 3. We had several Poker Face Paul games. Gin, Poker, Blackjack, and Solitaire. I remember these games being relatively cheap back in the day when I started picking up games. I guess they just not, we're not... And hot demand, no demand means cheaper prices. We have Clutch Hitter with a sales tag of $10, which came from a game store. It's a high fly ball going, going, gone. Clutch Hitter. This is another game that you can use the gear to gear cable on. So it's one or two players. Head-to-head -head action against a friend with gear-to-gear -gear cable. Again, sold separately. Well, Poker Face Paul returns again with Poker Face Paul's Poker. Hold it right there so it's in focus. It doesn't want to focus up close. But it'll be over here in the picture of the box. And then the title across the bottom. <laughs> what else we got? What else lingers in this container? We have MLBPA Baseball. Major League Players Baseball. Or Baseball Players by EA Sports. Crush one out of the yard. I remember this game being pretty prevalent for quite a while on eBay. A lot of the baseball games were just kind of inexpensive for complete in the box, which at the time was exciting. 
because I felt like I was getting deals on games while adding to my collection. Because there have been times where I've been offered expensive games and I just don't see the value of the game being equivalent to what they're asking for to sell the game. So I have passed on expensive games because the price was just way too high and not realistic. We have Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. This is the European release. A one-player action game. Let's see. We have a Japanese game hiding inside here. Actually, I see two. This is Woody Pop. In decent condition. Never played it. It's in Japanese. Makes it kind of hard. Made in Japan, 1991. Let me grab the other Japanese game that's staring me in the face. Which I wrap very well with bubble wrap. And this one has shrink wrap on it, except for the top, so somebody must have opened it. But it is Game Gear GG Shinobi 2, I believe. I'm going off memory. I'll clarify that once I edit it, edit the video. What else? What else do we have here? I haven't shown this game before. This is the Itchy and Scratchy game, the US release, in really good condition. They fight and bite, they fight and bite and fight. Get ready as Itchy and Scratchy slice, dice, crash, and bash their way into your home. This cat's gonna need more than nine lives to survive bazookas, dynamite, laser blasters, and flamethrowers. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So, are you mouse enough? Dun dun dun. Itchy and scratchy. I should play this game. As I say that about almost all games. This is Crystal Warriors, had a price tag on it for $11, complete in the box. For countless ages, the elemental crystals protected the peaceful kingdom of Arleel. But, your, but their theft led to an invasion by the evil Jin Empire. You must now harness the forces of sword and magic to crush the raiding army. Ooh. The lovely princess's face on the cover of the box. One or two players, gear to gear, cable option. Let's see what we have here. We have, do we have a date? January 30th, 2006, we bought uh, the game Hurricanes. For $9.99 Euro, we bought Wolf Child, $9.99 Euro, Wonder Boy, $9.99 Euro, The Odifants, $9.99 European, total $54.96 European dollars. I haven't seen those games though. Random bubble wrap, packed in for cushion. We have Sonic Drift 2, complete in the box, a one or two player, gear to gear, link cable is a possibility, rated kids to adults. And we'll do one more, since counting them up, I think I'm past 30. And this is the Otifants, a European release. The baby Otifant thinks his dad's been kidnapped. A trail of sweets leads from terrifying toys to awesome office. 
Okay. I guess somewhere, someplace, somebody read that and was like, this game sounds terrific. European release. Okay, the rest in here are boxes of I don't know what. Um, it's pretty heavy at one end again. So it's either more instruction manuals, loose ones, or that plus loose cartridges because they tend to have some weight to them. But I have one, two, three, four of those type of boxes and a game system. So for the next episode, it'll be Container 12, Part 2. And in that episode, I will finish this container. I'll finish out uh, Container 12. So we are consistently moving forward. One video a week, doing pretty good. Hope all is well with you. Hope you're healthy, you're happy, and I will be in touch in one week for a new video. Be well. What if I want to have sex before I get married? Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die.